Today we're gonna do some mini BMX maintenance. So one thing is the back wheel isn't working anymore. Um, the pawls fell out and uh, the springs fell out. So we need to replace that. So first thing, I'm just gonna remove the, the wheel. So I loosened the brake so I could pull the wheel out. So you want to just knock the wheel a little bit forward and then you want to just turn the chain wheel forward and get the chain off. So now pull the wheel out and then now we're going to open up inside here. You just need to unscrew all of this. One thing that I like to do actually is tighten it to the frame like that just so I can have it grabbing on something. So you just want to get all this off. This is two pieces so you want to keep these and don't lose them and keep them in order. So once you have those two pieces off, remember this little lip here goes into the bearing. Now you want to pull out the driver and, and a lot of uh, little things are going to fall out. So one other thing I like to have is a little magnet um, for when all this little stuff is going to fall out. So I'm going to pull out the driver now. And as you can see, the pawls are missing their little clips in here. They're just chilling inside here. So let's get those out. There's three of them. So these are really important and that clip is really important. Um, most of the time you just need to reposition everything and put it back together. All you need to do is just remove this clip, this clip in here, and then place these back in. But I'll show you how you do all of that. Okay. so. We have our driver, we have this little spacer, and then we have our clip. So you want to remove the clip, inspect it, make sure that it's perfectly straight. There's a little piece there that sticks out. Okay, so we're going to use our original clip and our new pawls. So you just want to put the clip back on. One thing, there's a little line, the little part that comes up there, you want to put it in this area right here. So stretch this out and then get that piece in there. All right, so now you want to get the paws back in. So you want to just open it up a little bit and then fit them back in. There's one, open this up. There's two. And remember, there's a little groove, so it fits in nicely. And just make sure they all spring. And take your spacer again. Let's go to the back. So now that you have your wheel open, you can clean it up a little bit in here. Just wipe it down. Okay, so you want to just wipe it down a little bit inside. Some people use a little bit of chain lube, but you have to just put a drop. I'm not going to use it. Once you've cleaned that up. Okay, so spacer goes in first. Get that all the way to the back. And then you want to put the driver in. You can hold the paws down if you want with your fingers. Just press it in. And then this little plastic piece here, you can kind of fit around the driver like that. Then you take the original pieces that we took off. So the first one, remember, there's a lip, 
So the lip goes where the bearing goes, so you want to just thread that one in. So, um, but it seems to be going okay. And then this one, uh, it doesn't matter which way you put it on. Thread that one on. And remember too that this kind of driver system is on all the Fat Boy and Bounce and, ro and Banger BMXs. The rocker uses a freewheel and not a driver. So you want to only use this on your Fat Boy, Bounce, or Banger. If you have a rocker, it kind of works more like an old school BMX. So that's another story. Okay, so chain tensioner goes back on. These things are a little bit annoying, but some circumstances they do work well. So you can really even just finger tighten it on. Uh, once you've done that, um, put the peg back on. Just screw that peg back on. So put your nut, tighten it up. And then same with the other side. So that's how you change a driver on a mini BMX. It may happen again in the future, so you just need to keep learning how to do that and taking it apart, putting the springs back in, putting the pawls back in. Make sure you maintain your bike. Thanks for watching. See you later.